How do you know your self-defense ammo actually works? You can depend on marketing from the manufacturer, or you can listen to anecdotal evidence from people who say they've actually seen it in action, or you can test fire your hollow point ammo into a medium that serves as an analog for human tissue, like this specially calibrated block of synthetic ballistic gelatin. And that's exactly what we did. One of our big projects here at Lucky Gunner for the past several months has been our ballistic gel testing for over 100 self-defense handgun loads in 380, 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45 ACP. We've got all the results posted at Lucky Gunner Labs along with tons of photos, high-speed video, detailed data, and an explanation of how this gel stuff works and how we set up our test. But if you don't want to read all that and you just want to skip straight to the results, here's the short version of what we did. From 10 feet away, we fired five rounds of each load into a block of ballistic gelatin. We actually lined up two blocks end to end for the loads that penetrated into a second block. In front of the block, we placed a barrier of four layers of fabric to simulate clothing. We were looking to find out how deep the bullet would penetrate and how much it would expand. It's not a perfect simulation, but it's a pretty consistent and reliable way to test a lot of different types of ammo and compare the results. So we measured the penetration depth of each bullet, then dug it out of the gelatin and measured its diameter. We also recorded the velocity of each load with a chronograph. If we go by the FBI standards, the ideal bullet penetrates a minimum of 12 inches and no more than 18 inches. Bullets that fall a little outside of that range might still be okay, but slight overpenetration is generally considered better than a round that consistently failed to hit that 12 inch minimum. For expansion, there's not a benchmark that's as widely recognized as the FBI penetration standard, but expansion that's one and a half times the original bullet diameter is a reasonable target to look for. I wouldn't get too hung up on the numbers here though. If you've got good penetration from a load and the expansion is pretty consistent from one bullet to the next, then it's probably good to go. Our results from these tests are broken down by caliber into four interactive charts that you can find on that post at Lucky Gunner Labs. On the far left column, we have the name of the load, then a graph showing the penetration depth, then a thumbnail of the expanded bullets, and then the average velocity all the way here on the right. Clicking on the column headers will let you sort by penetration depth or diameter or velocity, and you can use the search box to quickly find a specific load. You can click on the expanded bullets for a larger view, and if you click on the penetration graph, you'll get a couple of nice photos of the actual bullets in the gelatin. And if you want even more details, you can click on the name of the load. That will open up a new page where you've got more photos of the expanded bullets, a breakdown of the data that we collected, and a high-speed video showing the bullet entering the gel at 10,000 frames per second. Then down at the bottom, we've got a couple of charts that show how this load performed compared to other loads of the same caliber. And then if you want to actually buy some of this ammo, you can do that on the same page. Just scroll up, and if we have it in stock, you can add it to your cart. This is just the beginning of what we hope will be an ongoing project. There are some loads that we couldn't fit into this test that we would like to add in the future, and some other calibers we want to do as well. So be sure to let us know what you want to see next in the comments.